Here in Israel, finding a place to take the kids on Chol Moed, the intermediate days of the festivals of Pesach and Sukkot, is always a challenge. I find it difficult to get excited about the prospect of picnicking in a park in Tel Aviv on a small patch of faded grass together with a couple of thousand other families. I'm just funny that way, I guess. And so it was a great pleasure to discover the Blind Museum in Cholon, which has a special exhibition, Dialogue in the Dark. In this museum, you're led through several large rooms in total, complete darkness. The only way you can sense where you are is by using your other senses, touch, smell, hearing. The place is a fascinating approximation of what it must be like to be blind, Shem Yerachim. When I woke up the following morning and I said the blessing to Hashem who gives sight to the blind, I said that blessing as though I'd never said it before in my life. Blindness plays a central role in this week's Torah portion, Toldot. Yitzhak Isaac cannot see that it's really Yaakov, Jacob, to whom he's giving the blessings. And yet, on a deeper level, he sees that the correct recipient of those blessings is indeed Yaakov, is Jacob. Because through the bad smell of the washed goatskins that cover Yaakov's arms, Yitzhak Isaac can detect the aroma of Gan Eden, of the Garden of Eden, that enters the room together with Yaakov. The guides in the Cholon Museum are all sightless themselves. And yet they've developed their other senses to an amazing degree. They're able to navigate the sight as though they had eyes as they were walking around in broad daylight. In many ways, this world is like that museum, that blind museum. In this world, we think we see, but there's so much more that's hidden from our eyes than that which is revealed. From just looking at the world, would you know that on sunset on Friday afternoon, you enter a different existence, an out-of-time experience called Shabbat? I remember the first time I kept Shabbat properly. I woke up the following morning and I thought it was Monday. Can you see that with your eyes? There are those amongst us who, while they cannot see those realities completely, they've developed their spiritual eyes so that they can make out the spiritual world far more clearly than the rest of us. They are the great Torah scholars of every generation who guide us around this blind museum that we call the world. <laughs>